I mean, I think Taylor Swift has felt like she needed to make a stand mm -hmm. about the elections coming up, and yep. she felt that one candidate was going to be particularly uh, uh, negative towards lesbian, gay rights, um, gay marriage. But she has put herself out there now and potentially alienated a large number of her fans. Why do you think she's done it and was she right to do it? I think she's done it because the uh, Republican Party are led by a man who openly boasts of sexual assault and amongst... Actually, that's interesting, not what she put in her statement. No, perhaps... She didn't make any reference to Trump. It was specifically about these candidates yeah, well, this election I mean, in Tennessee and her state. The Republican state. Party, you know, is, is full of uh, a whole host of, you know, quite repulsive characters, really, and I think that Taylor Swift's comment should be applauded. I think that she's going to turn on a load of young people and uh, particularly perhaps females, you know, who have been kind of much maligned and marginalised in politics, and she's going to turn them on to that. And I think it's, 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 it's an interesting argument, this, because in history, a lot of bands have been political. You're pretty political. I, I don't really have a problem with bands that start off organically as a kind of politically motivated group, you know, mm. they, and their fan base is mm. that. Taylor Swift sings about love and romance. She never speaks about mm. politics. And what was interesting in the last election, I would argue that Hillary Clinton's obsession with getting endorsed by Lady Gaga, Beyonce, and that was one of the reasons he won. And I worry with, for Taylor Swift, A, she splits her audience, because she's a big middle American star. You can already see the backlash starting in America, fair or un unfair. But also, that I think it may help Trump. I, you know, we've got the midterms coming up, then the main election in 2020, that actually these big stars constantly whacking him fuels his base. And so, in a way... It backfires, it's, yeah. It has the opposite effect to the one she hopes. No, I disagree with that. I mean, firstly, I don't think that being political puts you off an artist. In your own Desert Island dish, you chose the Beatles and Stevie Wonder. Now, Stevie Wonder made a speech to the UN last week talking about the growth of fascism. I'm sure you still love his music. Nobody ever told John Lennon to shut up. And I think that um, people who vote Donald Trump are entrenched within that belief system regardless of what Taylor Swift says. And I don't think that her uh, comments will sort of... But, he, but if, but if she's making a broader statement about Republican values, that surely is going to put off those of her fans, and there must be a significant number of them, no, who actually identify with that. The key thing is that she's an artist, you know, and music is the most popular art form. And nobody would have said to Picasso, don't paint Guernica, stick to vases. The idea that we can, like, censor ourselves or to mm. tell the artist what to say... Oh, right, Jonathan, ludicrous. you've been on the, the other side where you, you manage artists, right? And you would advise them, as a rule of thumb, probably not to get involved in politics. Is that, is that your position? My view is, clearly, everyone has their right to do what they want, so I never tell people what they should or shouldn't do, but I would advise them from a career perspective to stick to your own lane. Clearly, if you're a political activist, like Billy Bragg, for example, mm. and that's what you do, that's what you do. Mm. The consequence is... Someone like Billy Bragg's not a massive popular artist. Mm. But Billy Bragg has been so aligned to political yeah, writing and music that, to me, his fan base all absolutely sign up to Billy mm. Bragg, the political activist, right? I get that. I think that's a different kind of absolutely. artist. The interesting thing about Taylor Swift, she's always made a point of saying, I let my music do the talking. She's all in because of the backlash she was getting after the election for keeping quiet. She was hammered. The Guardian called her kind of a Trump lick spitter. Why would, they Mary it, why then would it take her two years? I think if Because I think it's been building, building, building. No, that she's I think a it's specifically she about Howard. this election. She was and called these a candidates. dog whistler for white supremacists. All these things simply for maintaining a silence. I think that's, I, that that's an unfair attack. Mm. But, but I, what I do know is my 15-year-old cousin, Ashley, one five, goes to a Taylor Swift concert. She just wants to hear the music, wear the clothes and dance to Taylor right. Swift. And when I go and see, like, for example, and I saw U2 last year at Twickenham, mm. I love U2 music. But when Bono stops in the middle and gives me a 10-minute rant mm. about his political views, I go, I haven't paid 50, 60 pounds to come and hear Bono mm. talking political politics. I think there's a difference between supporting a party that I'm talking about an issue. If there's an issue like world poverty, then and that's a different issue altogether, and I fully endorse as much attention as possible. Shouldn't the line be, John, a serious point, shouldn't the line be, if, you're, if you write songs about political issues mm. all the time, if that is your thing, mm. right, you're a political musician, yeah. I don't, you wouldn't dispute that. If you do, that's your thing, right, I get mm. that, but isn't it different for an art, a mainstream artist with millions of impressionable young fans like Taylor Swift to try and be a political activist in the way that she's now doing? Not really. I mean, the Beatles started out singing She Loves You, Yeah, 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 you know, 
Taylor Swift, I don't, this idea that she's been bullied into making or, or felt I think it's rubbish. pressured into, yeah. into making. I think she has. I think she's an adult and I think she's capable of her There's own no independent evidence thought. That she's been bullied. You talked about the Twitter mob. I no. don't see. If that was the case, she would have responded would somebody, much quicker after 2016. Why would somebody change a 10 year position? Because of, precisely I let my music the reasons that she because says. Because she was getting so much flack from her own world of entertainers. No, no it's because she was so. she's it's looking ahead people. to the coming election and she has concerns about who might be elected. She had she no concerns before the last election. So, so we, she so said nothing. The reason artists so, so feel... How, how does your argument that she's been bullied into doing because it the bullying, stand up? Because the bullying she was getting for being silent in the 2016 election campaign was savage. It was vicious. She was vilified. We saw yesterday the power of Twitter now. I don't think she's a weak the person. The I don't think she's a vulnerable We're person. We're going to debate this later on, but the power of Twitter is such that a guy yesterday, Scott Kelly, who's a serious astronaut in mm. America, three times mm -hmm. space commander of an ex expeditions, right? He was bullied into making a public apology for quoting Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe what I was saying. But the Twitter mob had decided Winston Churchill's the devil and he had to apologise. When I see that, I worry about the power of Twitter mobs now, to change even strong people's opinions. Taylor Swift is an artist. It's the job of the artist to hold up a mirror to society, especially in this day and age mm -hmm. when people within your own profession, within the journalism profession, aren't doing the job that they're supposed to. We expect impartiality, not of musicians, but of journalists. So when people like yourself are fawning over Donald Trump, then we feel like the need to stand up then and say something, you know. I don't think it's the, the job of an artist to do something. An artist does what they want. Some artists may choose to be political and make statements, but it's not their job. Some artists just provide great entertainment to the world. They do, and I understand that it's escapism, but equally, politics basically means everything that matters in life. Mm. So for me to only write about one section of my life, which is love or something, is ludicrous. I, you know? I, I That's think, a choice. I also think it's a terribly unfair attack to say that um, we're not doing our jobs properly. Not all of them. And, and I also think that, you know, sometimes you can't stay neutral uh, even as a journalist, because you might want to take a stand or, or you know, argue a particular position because you think other people perhaps aren't putting that a across. No, I, I would argue that taking um, a present to the US president is, is sort of... Oh, so this is a personal news. attack? It's not a personal attack. I mean, yes, it is. You've, been, you've whacked me on Twitter for ages. But when I heard you put you today, I was like, oh, God, he's just going to go into some... All right. And you started. And that's fine, am I, mate? You're entitled to it. But luckily, it's my show. We've got a poll. Where's the poll? The poll is 61% agree with me, so I'm right. John, <laughs> thanks for seeing you. Uh, good to see you, Jonathan. And we'll all reconvene on Twitter, no doubt, howling abuse at each other.